Hey YouTube, Paul Oz here. I'm going to be doing a little review of the uh, Ernie Ball Cobalt Strings, which are new for 2012. I'm going to be putting them in my ESP Horizon FR2, and I'm going to be replacing a slinky set of the same gauge string made by Ernie Ball. So I'm using 9 to 42 on that guitar. So by the magic of video, I'm going to show you a recording I did the other day of a song that I'm working on with the old strings, and with the same microphone placement and levels and tone, etc., compression, and same plugins on the uh, computer on Logic here, I will use with the Cobalt string so we can really try to hear a difference if there's going to be a difference heard. Who knows? Let's see. Exciting. At the same time, I'm going to be using V-Picks. These are handmade picks made by Vinny down at V-Picks, and they're amazing. They're nice and expensive and cheap as well. It depends on what you get, really. I decided to get a $15 pick, you know what I mean? Just to give it a shot, because like, when are you gonna get a $15 pick anyway, right? Like, it's not like it's gonna break on you. Especially considering it's 5.85 millimeters, which is like, it looks like a diamond harvested from the center of the earth or something like that. It looks amazing, and it sounds pretty good too. So I'll be using these, because this is what I used the other day, and we'll take it from there. So this is what they look like. This is the packaging for it. It's got some information on the back about how it's apparently got more output and more greater frequency response than stainless steel or nickel. And we'll see about that. I just love unpackaging new strings. It's like new, new string smell. It's like a book, you know? That's kind of weird. One thing that I've noticed straight away is that these strings are kind of grayish blue. And that's a little bit new for me. I, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. I also have the camera on a certain different lighting setting just to make the room look a little bit more naturally lit, but these are grayish blue. And the tension on them is really high for some reason. I'm kind of freaked out about it right now, but uh, again, we'll see. I might have to change some action things and stuff like that, but we'll see. We'll see. It's all good. Chill, chill. Have your coffee. I'll tell you right now, it's completely different. Like, for me at least. It's so bizarrely different with these strings on. Everything is a little bit... The guitar... Hmm, it's kind of hard to explain. They're, uh, they're a little tighter feeling. I dropped to D and it, for some reason it's keeping pitch really well right now. I can gent with these strings automatically, whereas before the brightness of the other strings, I don't think, cut it. I don't know. It's something's, something's definitely different, and it's... It's a very different uh, feel so far. So let's do some recording and take it from there. As you can very blatantly see, it's a lot more responsive harmonically, and it is a little louder in the mix. That isn't my doing, I didn't turn up the volumes at all. I haven't touched the amp since I recorded the other day with the other strings to make sure that it would be consistent. So speaks for itself, it's pretty nice, pretty heavy, a lot of harmonics. Like it's really easy to grab those harmonics, I'm not even very loud, imagine if I was playing a little bit louder. It's quite nice. I, I really like them. I think I am uh, I'm a fan. I think that's fair enough to say. 
I use these little buggers to record. <laughs> VPIC medium P. So, cheers YouTube. Hope that that was informative. Um, for 10 bucks, 10 bucks Canadian, 10.25 maybe. Mm. Worth it. Worth it. Fine, fine. Let's just see how long they last. Maybe I'll do another little update video in a month. See if they can last a month of my torture. The other uh, strings lasted two weeks before they got divots and weren't really able to hold tune. So, that kind of tells you something. Anyway, cheers. So hey YouTube, this is the day after I played a concert with the uh, new Cobalt strings on my ESP Horizon. And I can definitely tell you, I, uh, well, my, my setup was a Engel Thunder 50 through a full Marshall stack. So eight speakers of Engel power combined with my ESP. It's, it, I can't really describe it to you. I'm gonna probably end up posting a little uh, link down below of the video that was taken. It's not the best sound, but I can tell you the harmonic range and increase of just ferocity in the guitar and compression. It was just unbelievable. I honestly like I, I'm 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 sticking with these. Uh, as soon as they make a seven-string guitar version and an eight-string guitar version. I think they're going to become the next big thing and all other companies are going to try and do their own version of it and that's totally cool because it would be great to try different interpretations of them as well. I was really, really impressed, absolutely impressed. Um, I'm not going to give it a rating, I'm just going to give you a recommendation. If you want to have a fresh, really bright sound and like a lot of harmonics and want your tone to sing a little bit more, definitely buy these friggin' strings. And I'm not even endorsed by the guys. I just think they're that good. Cheers.